Sub you too. This is your boy Alpha How many guys tonight? I hope you guys had a nice day. We had definitely a lot of crazy things happen today. We have a you know very nice move. Uh we have we had an explosive end of the day. Now those were actually pretty good gains. Uh I mean I, I didn't even expect that this happened, but you know, you know, we get a we get a trade with the flow, you know, we get a recognized price action uh that was gonna help you guys on your trading, you know, always you know, waiting and understanding the setups is what's really gonna help you guys to make some money. So we're gonna go over that, you know, we're gonna see what and how did this happen. Uh we're gonna get some preparation for tomorrow, you know, FOMC meeting, which is gonna be very important. I wanna make you guys aware. Uh, I'm gonna touch base on you know our swings and the new swing that I actually load up today, which it looks pretty good and it looks for a reversal. So we have a pretty good risk reward there. So we might you know, see pretty good gains in the coming days. All right, so we're going to talk about all these things. So, you know, stay put and, stay, you know, go over with me with the video, all right? So, uh, starting today with SPY. You know, SPY definitely, like I told you guys, do not. I personally, you know, don't trade the first, you know, the first hour-ish. You know, it's very volatile. So, it's me, you know, it's preference. But I try to avoid it because, again, if you're, you know, going to be in the wrong side of the trade and you can, you know, lose some money. But, you know, we really got up in pre-market, as you can see. We got up, you know, we broke the, our system level because we had a 394. And then we climbed steady on pre-market all the way up to 397, right? So that was a pretty, actually, pretty good move, you know, from 390. It was a $3 move from pre-market, only in pre-market, right? Now, at opening, we broke up, and we were as high as, like, 398, 397, right? Now, if you look on your five-minute, and then if you look on your one-minute, you're going to see that we form a double top. Kinda like a, it was, it's it's very hard to see it, but it really you know you, you guys you can see it there on the five minute, right? Because I remember the one minute is very volatile. You're gonna see a lot of more action on the one minute than on the five minute. That's why I tend to use the five minute to you know give me clear confirmation on my patterns, right? On my own, you know the direction of movements, right? So we had the double top on spy, right? And then we had the breakdown, right? Now. If you see how would you get the confirmation on this is because you know looking at the charts once we close the level of VWAP, which was around 397, right? That was your entry for your puts. Probably this was around 10 o'clock, 10 10. So this was already almost 40, 50 minutes after the market opened, which is a decent time to you actually you know take a trade and you know give it a chance, right? That was your entry. Again, now once we close the below the VWAP and then once start closing below your uh, your support line, which was 397. That was your second confirmation to second like put, right? Obviously, you always want to try to maximize your profits, and obviously, you had to take profits on the way down, right? From three ninety seven to almost three ninety six, a dollar move, so it's a still a decent profit. That you always have to log those profits in, right? Now, what happened next is that the market start trading sideways, right? Start consolidating on on that move. Right, you can see we were in the range pretty much for almost the whole day. Right? We were just doing nothing, you know, we're just bouncing from pre-market support and just retesting resistance, you know, doing the same thing over and over and over pretty much the whole day, right? Because if you look at the chart, that happened, you know, since like almost 10 o'clock to all the way two o'clock, right? So we were four hours, four hours on the same range, right? This happened right, because the breakout happened um, after two o'clock. It pretty much happened right for power hour. Like, you know, we, we, were, when we were like trading towards the power hour. We had this big move, right? So again, identifying these scenarios is gonna help you guys to really stay away. You know, you guys don't need to trade this. I mean, it's, it's I, when I see this kind of patterns, this kind of consolidation, this kind of trading sideways moves, I personally tend to not to take a trade there because my risk to war is gonna be pretty low. Right again, you might be able to scalp it, but again, if you're not that good to do that, if you don't manage your risk proper, like properly, then you you can lose money you really quick. So then you try to avoid this this scenarios like this 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 move. Right now, mo moving toward the power hour, that's when things start getting interesting. And I believe a lot of people didn't expect this, but if you react to what you see, if you react to your levels, you react to your indicators, and you will have catch some of this. Right, so that was a whole move. If you see, once we start getting out of the consolidation, this range in, 
we're still closing about the 20 minutes, which is at that point, we're okay, fine. You know, we have already been doing that a few times and we, we're getting projected, but you can see this is what's very important to look at your resistance levels, right? 397.22 resistance. Once it closed above, then that was the confirmation to get some calls, right? Because previously it touched it, got rejected, touched it, got rejected, right? And that's when we broke, once we break it, that was a 397.46. If you could close there, you roll this baby all the way to 399, right? Only by respecting your 20 May, only by respecting the trend line. And, you know, those were quick and an amazing game. You know, that the only those two breakout candles, that were insane. You know, that was, this was almost a 200% gain if you get a, you know, a right entry based on, you know, this confirmation, right? So that was pretty crazy, you know, for a spy. And actually, you know, hit as high as 399.41, right? So it's pretty, it's pretty crazy, you know, going from 397, 396, 399, right? Remember, and I believe that we didn't touch 400 because 400 is a strong cycle like a level for the spike. Remember that 400 is a strong cycle like level. And if we get above 400, then I'm going to become very, very bullish. Right? We, as long as we still below, I'm still kind of bearish on the market. You know, I still believe in rejections. I still believe on you know, huge pullbacks so that can happen. But if we get above 100 and we start holding above, then things can change. Right? Psychological, that's very strong. And then, you know, the buyer is going to step in, the bulls are going to step in we can push higher. So, you know, in preparation for tomorrow, I definitely want you guys to see this because tomorrow FMC meeting is going to move the market a lot. But this, this you know, the, the meeting started at 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. So that doesn't mean that we can have this, this, this move or breakouts before the meeting. Right? A lot of times happen. You know, a lot of times we have this pre-run of, you know, meeting. We have the old, maybe we had the pre-crash, right? But still, it's good to know the levels. Sometimes we don't have any move. You know, sometimes we are just trading sideways. So we will have to see how the market reacts tomorrow on, you know, during the intraday before the meeting. But they definitely like you gotta watch that because above, you know, 400 level, we break that the 400 is like a level, for example, very likely that we will touch that resistance level at 41.13. So you guys can get some calls there to scout that, you know, get maybe they trade that if you guys, like we have that as scenario, right? Otherwise, if we actually, you know, start trending down, then definitely you have to watch for again the retest of this this support line this 390 this 397.21 right if we break that support and i believe that's going to be our floor for tomorrow before the meeting if we break that and then again we have the over the door open to 394 and 95 that's going to be another move to dollar move to the downside for puts if that's what happened right but based on charts uh charts are bullish you know we have you know, the trend lines are, you know, closing over. We got a 60 May, we had a 20 May. We are riding the trend on, you know, smaller frames, an hour to 30, 30 minutes. So, you know, things look bullish, but things can change very quick with, you know, how Pavel will say things or how things might be tomorrow. Again, there's a lot happening tomorrow. We have, you know, he's probably going to talk about bank situation. He's going to probably going to talk about all these kind of things. So we don't know how the market is going to react. But definitely something that you guys need to be aware that this kind of things can, you know, crashes can happen, rogue pulls can happen. So we'll see what, how, how that does, right? Tesla, it had definitely an insane day. Like this is actually another, it's a, it's a huge piece. You know, this, this there were insane gains on this one. You guys can have made, if you guys like to get understood or understand how trendless work, you know, how your indicators work, you could have actually roll. Tesla from like 190 from 190 to 190. That's almost like a nine dollar move, ten dollar move, depending on where you get, where you get in, right? But again, as I said, do not fight the trend. Like if you try to short this, you try to buy puts, then if you're gonna get burned, you're gonna lose your money really quick, right? This thing, again, pop in the morning, right? You guys definitely, you guys don't want to take a trade because that's from my camera. You have to wait for the to set up. You pop and then you get rejected, right? And then you test it as one that's what you want to, you know, what you, you want it to observe. It, it bounces from that, and then it closes above the view of your view of that you had, right? Once it goes above your view of and above your, you know, the 20 minutes, that was your entry. So 191-ish, 190-ish, that was your entry, right? Once you saw that confirmation. If you did that, you you got your calls there, man, you you were gold. You made so much gain. Your first taking profit, uh, your first area to take your profit, that was your entry. See that? I'm my circle there so you guys can see where you guys should have get in, right? Above your B1 when you're 20. 
if you were looking at, if you were riding the train based on your tournament, you're going to have to take probably the first moment they take touch resistance, right? That resistance was, uh, the first, it was a 196.06, right? So that was your first taking profit area. That was where you, you got to, you know, trim your position, you know, get some money out of the table, right? And if the 20 minute was no broken, then you can have right, you know, the rest of your position. That's what your second profit is, right? So why there? Because again, that was pretty much high of the day. You know, we're already close to the bell. So you don't want to, again, wait for this pullbacks because they're going to happen. You want to just maximize your profits. So this was another beast. Again, and then for Tesla, the 200 level is a strong psychological level for Tesla. I'm not sure how, again, how it's going to go, but Tesla's very bullish for now. Uh, both stepping up tomorrow, we actually go above 200 level. We I don't I don't have doubts that we might with this 203 uh, level. We have resistance at 203.40. That's our resistance. So we can actually touch that tomorrow if we still bullish, if we have the bull stepping up, right? And as long as we do not break the 20 main, we're going to have that, right? So keep an eye on that. NVIDIA, again, same, same thing. NVIDIA is pretty much, it's variable. It's still, you know, bigger chart, bigger frames. We look at the forever. We're still riding the trend. So, again, don't fight that, right? And if you look, if you look the bigger picture, you know, we, there is no retracement yet. But, again, things can change. You know, we can see, I can see that probably we're building a double top here, right? I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if we pull back tomorrow because we have, you know, FMC meeting. Um, the artist has pretty overbought, you know, it's the 70th. Uh, we already see the Magdi, Magdi lines closing down. So we, we see some sellers stepping in. So we that would, that would mean that might be a little, you know, kind of like a red flag to tomorrow. But if you look at the daily, the daily looks pretty bullish, right? But again, the RSS is pretty high, so we might need to cool down. And tomorrow, if we have a pullback, then that might be the opportunity to short B, all right? So keep an eye on that. But based on today's action, we have a pretty good opportunity. You know, obviously, follow your indicators. Right, once we once we uh, left the choppiness, like around like 10, 10, 45, 10, 40, that's when we had that, you know, clear direction. Once we get rejected from the 20 May and the rewap on your 20 May, all your EMAs, most of your EMAs, the ones that I use, that was your engine for your puts, right? Then you could have rolled this day from 260 and close to your support line, to 254. That was a five dollar move, pretty much, right? Support is at 253.13, right? So that was the first. Sharp opportunity. Second one, obviously, you know, it bounced, but you don't want to take a trade right away. You know, you have to wait for the clear, you know, confirmation. Like this is why I don't. If you see this, then you don't do it because you can actually get it and get trapped. It's what we call a blue trap sometimes. So, but here, what was the confirmation is that once you closed above your, you break your view, reclaim your view up, you reclaim the trend. That was your confirmation, right? So around two fifty nine to sixty, that was your entry. And you could have rolled the trend, right? You know, the, the, the trend toward 262 to 63. So that was your second entry for the media if you actually were looking at, right? Um, for our swings, just just quick update on our swings. Stephanie GNS told you guys, you know, it's it's just matter of time. Today it actually did a pretty good bounce, and I'm not surprised because she actually did it from the spot that I already knew they was gonna do it. Uh, previously, we were it's with it because we have support at 217, I believe 210 is our support, right? That was the previous breakout. You see, you could bounce from there and start breaking up all the way from that to dollar all the way up to four dollars, right? So we bounce now, right? Because we already expect that. And the thing is, what we're going to do now, right? Again, uh, we have the artist library, you know, oversaw, you know, we have, we can see. So bar is kind of stepping in, you know, we will see the four and the four hour a little crawl. So we will see how strong it is. But if we get too close above their 235 resistance and break or you know, EMA at 245, then we might see some upward momentum. And again, I'm not just reminded, you know, the catalyst, the big catalyst for this is going to be the 28th of April. Uh, it does have earnings on the 31st, I believe, on this month, Guinea. So we will see how that goes. Right. Well, I'm gonna assess before that to see how it's you know, performing during the days, what are we expecting, you know. Uh, again, I I don't have doubts that you know they might present pretty good earnings, but you know, we'll see how they actually you know fix the stock price. Okay. And then for today's swing that actually you already mentioned for you guys, well, you know, most of the communities is T E N X. 
uh, I definitely like this. It's been having a lot of chatter, you know, on, the, on, on you know, uh, forums and this and this and that. But, you know, really what I like this is the retracement that I really have, you know. This went as high as $4. We are sitting at $0.60. Cents. Uh, had some news in there. Today they were granting a patent, which is great. Uh, four hour the daily, you know, it's kind of oversold. Four hour, the four hour was, was pretty much oversold, right? We actually, we bounced on the previous floor. 40, 0. 0.45 was our floor. We bounced the previous league. We went as high as, you know, 80 cents. Now we bounce again. And then now again, look at this. We haven't closed below this about 60 May since, since a while. So this is pretty good, actually. It's, you know, looks pretty good. We closed about 60 May, right? But we still are fighting the resistance level. So we need to close about a set of 0. 0.63, and then we will be going towards 0. 0.80 resistance. Right, the data looks pretty solid. You know, the lady, you can see how the bars are stepping in, you know, the RSS at 39.59, so that's solid. You know, we have pretty good room to go. Uh, MACD is solid, you know, pretty much just trending up, so it's good, right? We have two candles on the daily. If we get one more candle, one more green candle on the daily, we will be, we will be building at three white solid pattern, which that's a very bullish pattern, right? We can actually have a pretty good rally. So that will depend about tomorrow. You know, we'll see how it goes. If definitely we close strong tomorrow in the 80s, then get ready because it's actually goes, can go to dollar plus. And don't forget there is a gap. They have a gap on the upside and from 1.99 to, to, to 16, right? So again, if we have no momentum, we can fill the gap. So it's all depend about how, how this performs. All right, so keep an eye So for the final letter of that, the only thing I just want to mention you guys and remind you guys, please, tomorrow, uh, don't gamble, you know, the you know, the, the meeting with Powell, you know, just, just let things play out. Let things, you know, show you clear, clear, clear trend, right? Let's show you guys after the fact, you know, don't try to anticipate this because nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody knows what's going to do, you know, it's going to go up, it's going to go down, can go anyway. So don't gamble it because you're going to lose your money. Like if you do and you're wrong and you're going to lose your money or, or whatever money you want to put in there, you're going to lose it. So don't do that. You know, play smart. The only way to do that is just way after the facts, you know, way after the market sells and then take the trade. All right. Or than that, thing I can tell you guys is, uh, you know, just be prepared for tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a big day. Uh, I'm going to be listening to the meetings because definitely it's very important to what he's going to say now. Especially again with what the back situation, you know, people expecting a, a lot of from him. So it definitely is worth it to listen out there. If we encourage you guys to listen to what he says, you know, educate yourself and understand the, the economic situation that we are. Because we, if you guys want to make money, but big money and be successful at this, you know, trading, then you guys need to be start understanding our economy, how things, how things are be doing. You know, why are we doing? Why is the economy where is it right now? All those kind of things, right? So. Uh, other than that, I guess I think we're done for tonight. If you have any questions, again, don't doubt to reach out to me, DM me, tag me. I'll do my best to reach out to you guys. All right? Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. You know, we have more things coming up and updates and our swings. Um, you guys like this? And again, you know, just uh, check the link in the description. We have the link for the Alpha community if you guys to check my trades. And other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You know, just be prepared, be ready, because we have a big day tomorrow. Okay, guys? All right. Take care, guys. Bye. What's up, guys? This is Wild for Trading coming out yesterday. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals and financial freedom you guys are looking for, you need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the Alpha community. I'll be there with you guys, guiding yourself to the market. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because I'm going to get you guys get some money. All right, so see you guys.